Hello, 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 everyone. Um, I hope you all make it over to this one because I kind of flubbed on the stream that I had set up. So I had to actually start a, a new one, but I hadn't started coloring yet. So that's the good thing. So I want to thank everybody who is coming on the feed with me. And I'm trying to do a little bit of multitasking because since I messed that last feed up, then I'm gonna need to just kind of straighten some things up in some other areas as well. So while I am doing that, I just like to say again, welcome. And I'd love to know uh, where you're coming from. And also, it, I would appreciate it if you share this out with your audience as well. So let's see here. Hello, Maria and Vanessa. Thank you for coming over here because I kind of I kind of messed things up a little bit. So I'm still trying to do a little bit of fixing because, you know, that's how it is when you're live streaming. Sometimes things just don't work out the way that you want them to work out. So I'm just trying to find out where everybody is from and how you're doing today. And I'm going to start in just one second or two. And if you could share it out, that would be a most appropriate appreciate it most definitely and let's see here it's like when you are actually running a feed yourself <laughs> there's a lot of things that could go wrong <laughs> well I don't even know if I can fix this one let's see oh I think I can let's see here all right, just bear with me for one second. All right. One more little thing here. That's the first time um, I kind of, I hit the play and then I, then I then selected, like unselected the feed to stream and so I kind of messed it up. So let's see, publish, yeah. all right, now it should be, I think I should be good to go and straight. So if you're coming on on the replay, you can just fast forward a bit to get to the actual stream here. I'm gonna start like in a few seconds. Just bear with me, friends, bear with me. I'm trying to get this going. All right, and I think we should be good to go. All right, so I think that one's good to go. Anywho, we're moving right along now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of jump right in since I kind of kind of made a mess of everything here. Hi, Lily Tree and Maria and Vanessa. Thank you all. Uh, Teresa, nice to see you, Teresa. Thanks for coming and joining me. Yes, uh, you know, I've been doing these live streams for a while, uh, but still, like, if you just mistakenly hit a button, you can just, like, flub the whole thing, and that's what I just did. So, good thing I have been doing it for a while because I was able to kind of, you know, get things going again. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go to uh, the cloud. Yay, I'm in the cloud, everybody. I'm in the cloud. I'm going to show you my desktop so we can get this show on the road. And I always have to clean my glasses. So while I'm cleaning my glasses, uh, I always like to just make a suggestion that if these are the types of videos that you like to see, then please make sure, or I just always like to suggest that you hit the subscribe button below and then hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when the lives go live or when I make a mistake, you'll know when the next live comes up. <laughs> Hello, Elevent, El El Elevent, Evelyn. Oh, I'm tongue tied. I don't know why. We're going to get going here. I feel like ill prepared and I've been sitting here for a while too. That's a shame. But anyway, I started these live streams a few months ago on Sundays, just kind of as a relaxing type of deal, because 
I wanted to, I know that Sunday evening is a great time to kind of unwind and kind of get ready for the week, but sometimes we're so busy on the weekends and we don't get to finish the projects that we have. So I always just suggest that everybody just take out some of your projects that you have that you haven't finished, something you can work on for a little while, and just come sit and chat with me. And then we're going to uh, work on some of those projects together and just have some fun and just relax. And it's all about about creating for contentment so you'll see a hashtag on the screen that says create for contentment if you can put that out to your social that would be wonderful as well because we don't want we don't want our crafting and our creativeness to be a job we want it to be fun and we want it to be relaxing so this is the coloring book that I'm gonna be coloring in today and um, you know, you don't have to have like one of these adult coloring books. You can get one of your kids coloring books and you can use their coloring books also. This is the re Romantic Country, Cocot, the Land of Beautiful Towering Castles, a fantasy coloring book. I have a link in the description to this coloring book that I'm going to be using. And I'm actually using my Prismas. This is the 150 box. I'm, I'm not going to pull it out because it's kind of, it's in a kind of funky kind of spot on my desk. So I don't want to like make the camera fall over, but I have the 150 and I will say although I have this box um, it's kind of it's too big so I had to invest in a pencil case because I needed a better way to access the pencil since I'm doing more coloring. So this is the page that we're going to be working on. You can see we're not finished. I've only been working on this with you all. So um, I did have some other pages I've been working on. And look at that. The other morning, I actually went on Patreon and, and did some of this page. Doesn't that, that look so beautiful, doesn't it? I'm so proud of myself when I'm picking the colors. It's like you can't really pick a bad color, though, for sure. Every color you pick is going to be a good color for you, and every page is going to be unique. But I like the way this page is coming out, too. So I've been actually practicing my technique of, of blending the colors and just trying to get, like, the right thing. I even practiced, like, on these pages here, I've been practicing, like, the fur on the animals. So that's kind of cool as well. Okay. So... Let me start picking some colors here and get going. And let's just let's just have a chat, shall we? <laughs> let's have a chat. I have these these actual pencils here in this bottle because I was working on a different page with these and I didn't want to mix them up. So I just put them in the bottle so I can put them back if I need to. And then I have my, my little page here that I had some samples on of the colors. It's always good to have some samples. Um, I actually have a better way that I'm going to kind of organize my pencils. So right now, that's what it be like. It's just going to be like that for now. So, to um, I know on YouTube, I'm since I'm still I still kind of consider myself a newbie to actually doing the videos on YouTube, even though I've been doing them for a while. But I scheduled the um the color with me today for 6 p.m. and you can see I'll see how I have to take out the trays when I want to use the colors. Let me just push this aside and what I have the parchment paper here for is to put it between the pages because these Prisma colors have so much pigment in them which is fantastic however like um, if I put something heavy on the book and there's nothing in between these pages then these colors will bleed over to here and I don't want that because I want to be able to color those pages also but I scheduled the actual live stream today for 6 p.m., but when I looked on my page, on my channel page, it said 3 p.m. So, um, I was kind of worried that it, you all were going to get the wrong time. And uh, Evelyn asked, how do, how do you do the cloud? You know, um, it's, it's not an ancient Chinese secret or anything. It's probably a lot to explain. <laughs> on the stream itself 
But I'm using an encoder that is called um, Game Show. And it's similar to OBS. If any of you are creators, it's similar to OBS. And um, it allows me to do like another, uh, what do you call it? Like another screen, which in this case uh, was just like my face. So it was a whole screen. And then you could pick a shape for that screen and then I made it smaller. So I just made it into a cloud and then I made it smaller and it kind of worked for me. I'm actually thinking about um, adding some classes on, the, on my Patreon uh, for um, to teach people how to use YouTube effectively and also how to live stream because I've been live streaming for a while. I cannot find the color that I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for putty and I don't see putty and I don't think could putty be in this could it be in this jar per se? <laughs> Let's see is it in this jar? This one is ginger root. Nope, that's not my putty. It's not in here. I must be looking over it. Anyway, it's hard to talk and look for things. I'm actually looking for a color to color with, and I'm not finding what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna use this one, and let's put this back over here out the way. And then I need one more color that I'm not seeing. So that's kind of the the crappy part. Once I get these organized, it'll be easy for me to get into the colors that I want. How about I think I want to use? No, that's not what I want to use. I'm 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 inclined to rush here since I'm on a live stream, but I don't want to do that. I'm trying to take my time. She's trying to take her time and do this. But I really want to kind of rush so you guys can see see me get my color on. But for some reason, I'm just having a hard time finding the colors that I want. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that for today. That's what makes me want to go fast. Okay, I'm going to try this one. All right, so let me get the coloring finally. <laughs> since we're deep into this so what have you all been doing this weekend how's your weekend been going or how how has your week been going per se uh, my week has been going pretty good and i actually i've been pretty busy as if you are a subscriber on the channel here you know i think i posted up a video every single day for this week and that hasn't happened in a while because I had I had a lot of things going on. I can't always post every day, but usually if I'm not posting, I may be doing like a live stream. That's that's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> so Evelyn, you said you find it kind of hard to find people who want to share their programs or what they're using. Oh, no, you can ask me. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you what I'm using. Um, I started out using OBS. OBS is like a free program, and I think I've talked about it even here on the Color With Me's, but it didn't work on my computer. I do have a Mac, and on my, on my desktop, it wouldn't work. So I have to find something else, and um, Game Show is actually quite affordable, and it's like only a one-time fee, so it's not a license that you have to pay for, and... Of course, this is not a sponsored video for them, but I really, I was able to, let me just sharpen this. I was able to get it to do everything that I needed, to, needed it to do, basically, which was quite important. Let me see here. Pop this chat out. I'm trying to see everything to include include this so Vanessa says she's been busy working on videos and cleaning I need to work on cleaning cuz she's got some cleaning issues right now haven't been I've been so busy trying to catch you know get caught up doing the videos and everything that I haven't really I've been neglecting my uh, 
my home duties, my home management duties, that's what I call it, because, you know, trying to keep your home clean and have dinner for people and pick kids up from school and all that good stuff, that is a job in itself, and I, that's why I call it home management. <laughs> And also, right now, I know a lot of people here in the Florida area, depending where you're at, are still recovering from Irma, which it's almost hard for me to fathom that um, people still haven't recovered because we recovered so quickly, especially in South Florida. They still, they're still having a hard time down there. And uh, we actually, me and my family, we actually went to the movie theater today, and I was talking to a lady there. She was so friendly. And we were talking about Irma. She was telling me that, you know, they just got their power. And their, they said so they were out of power and water for seven days. And they had ended up going to stay in a hotel. So we were only out for a day. Thank goodness. But um, speaking of the movie theater, I went to see The Kingsman. And I think it came out last weekend. The Kingsman is a great movie also. If you're looking for some action, I would definitely recommend it. And I would even say it was as good as the first one. So if you saw the first one, then definitely go see the second one was as good as the first one as well. It almost has like superhero kind of qualities to it. I loved it. Anybody else seen The Kingsman? It's like kind of, it's like a more fun James Bond type of movie. So I like that. I like it a lot. All right. I'm glad I finally got the coloring because it was a little bit of a fiasco for me there for a minute. Uh, now, as far as the movies go, the one movie that I haven't, got, I didn't get to go see was actually a It. I really, 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 really wanted to see it. And I missed it because it came out the same weekend as Hurricane Irma. And Irma just, she messed up everything. So we didn't get to see it. Um, so I might have to wait for that one to come on DVD. No, no, um, no it. I was really excited to see that too, but that's okay. Sometimes, as I always say, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but I got to see the Kingsman. So Vanessa, you haven't seen movies in years. Is it that you don't like going to the movie theater? I love going to the movie theater because it's, it's just something about seeing the movies on the big screen. Plus, I don't do anything else, you all, so I have to... I have to find something to do. Like, I don't go out and party, and I don't go hang out in bars or anything. So, that's like my only holdout is still going to the movie theater, which I quite enjoy. I don't know how I was going to make I want to do a little shading on this broom, but she doesn't know what color she wants to put on here to make this broom look a little bit, a little bit better. I don't know. Oh, this is one of the colors I was looking for earlier. Let's see, let's see if we can make this work for the broom. No money for the movies. Hey, I also found out like on Groupon, have you all ever used Groupon before? Groupon is pretty cool. And what I did on uh, with Groupon had like a special where you can buy basically like credits to go see the movies. And like you could buy, you can spend $10 and you get $20 in movie credit. So I did that and then that helped me so that I could go and um, see the movies as well. So I had $10 and then I can go see a few movies because it came out to $20. So Marie said the last one you saw was Ice Age 3. <laughs> I like seeing the kids' movies. <laughs> I really do. Those are the cool ones. And when they come out, you know, I have to take Slim. I'm like, Slim, let's go. I think the last kids movie I saw was Trolls, though. And I I didn't really like Trolls that much. It was all right, but it wasn't all that. It wasn't all that. 
let's see we're gonna make the silver I try to make things look kind of realistic not too crazy and off the wall I think this is probably my first my first realistic page when I say realistic because I was doing like you know the, the um, pages that have like the repeating patterns and stuff and they're like really tiny to color in like when you see adult coloring books that's what you normally see but I enjoyed this a lot more and so I'll call this like kind of real life coloring like this is you know things that you would see in real life I like that It's kind of cool. I can't wait till when it comes on DVD. I might get that. And I don't even buy DVDs anymore. I can't even tell you the last time I purchased a DVD. Uh, one thing, my um, movie theater also, which is kind of an incentive, is um, they have reclining seats. And that's exciting. Because I thought my movie theater was closing down for a while because they didn't have any movies there. Like they had, they were showing like three movies and I know they had like eight theaters. And for some reason, they weren't showing any movies for the, sum, for the summertime and I didn't know why. And then finally they had a movie um, me and my mom went to see it and they had reclining seats. I think I talked about the reclining seats before. So that's pretty cool and their prices still haven't changed yet, which is nice. And but another thing that they started doing is you have to reserve the seat that you want. So when you actually go to the movie theater and you buy your ticket, you have to tell them which seat that you want to um sit in, which which whichever ones are available. And the only thing about that is um, I know that they're gonna start charging by the seat that you get pretty soon. I ran into that when I used to go through Dubai when I was working overseas, and you had to um, you had to pay depending on where your seat where your seat was, which is a little cray cray, but you know I guess business is business. I like going to the movies when I was in Dubai. Surprisingly, they showed the movies in English. So whenever I would go through, I would always go see me a movie if I had time. But their movies were a little bit behind the ones in the States, though. So Vanessa says she's organizing her stickers right now. I need to do that, too. My stickers are a little cray-cray right now. I could definitely benefit from that doing the stickers so Maria says she is chilling oh it's midnight there oh that's right because you said you're in the UK it's a little late I have a friend that I talk to in the UK almost every day in London but you know that person has some crazy hours they sleep crazy hours so I never know what time it is there How's the weather there, Maria? Is it cold? I, it's probably already been cool because I keep forgetting that you guys are further up north than we are. Like in your area, how's the weather? Is it like winter time there already? I had decided a long time ago I was going to do these boots for it. <laughs> Let's see how they're going to come out. Cute boots. Now we need the white one. See, I already done. Put some stuff back in here. Put that back in there. It's cool and damp. Cool and damp in the UK. 
So I did a lot of stuff this week, even though I filmed a lot of videos, because usually at the end of the month, that's kind of like my heavy video filming time for, um, cause, because I'm, you know, trying to get ready for the month when it comes to planning. And I always like to share that stuff, so I don't get to do all of my fun videos during that time. Well, they're all fun for me, actually, I have to say. So I did like my dividers and I post that up and I have, I'm going to do it. I had already committed to doing another set for the Halloween as well. So that's coming up and then I'm getting things going over on Patreon and I have my first member over on Patreon, which is nice. So that community is getting up and going and I'm adding, you know, rewards there and actually stickers and templates and things like that and lots of advice and I'm also doing what's called a coffee creative chat over there so on a few days a week I'll do a coffee creative chat and that's only available to the members there so I'll talk about different things on the chats as well and that's earlier in the day so my international audience could definitely catch me there also. So you can check that out. The link is in the description also. And if it doesn't work for you, you can just go to uh, patreon.com uh, and put list for a day and, and it will come up. Because I know some people said that the, that the links were kind of wacky for some reason. I don't know what's going on with those links. But, I don't, but they work for me, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on i also started putting some sneak peeks there as well because what happens is i have like a lot of videos that cannot fit into the schedule for um youtube i sharpen my pencil you guys or ladies so I have a lot that won't fit into the schedule so I can put them over there as a sneak peek before they get posted so that's nice so people can see the members there can actually see the vids before they actually go live on a YouTube of course there's some exclusive videos there as well so that's nice let's make this like I know I keep putting my hand in the way because I'm like so comfortable I'm not even thinking about it I'm just She's just going for it. I'm talking to you all. I'm just comfy. I like the way it's developing. Developing, developing. I guess you have to have garden boots. I have like some garden boots that I keep by the door. So whenever I go get the mail or something, and I don't have my shoes on, I just put my garden boots on. <laughs> I, I think I have this over here. I don't even know. Maybe not. See how to mix my colors up already. But that's okay. Let's see. What does she want to work on now? I think I'm going to work some more on these flowers over here. I don't know how I want to do the flowers. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do like some pinks. Hey, Yam Yamina. Hey, Yamina. <laughs> I be hating to mess people's names up. I always laugh, but on the inside, it's not really funny. I don't want to mess anybody's name up. How you doing today? All right. This is kind of like a slow, slow day for me. I had I did some late night coloring also over on um if this is putty no that's seashell over on Patreon. Well it wasn't like the late night coloring, but it was the day after the late night coloring and I didn't wanna I wanted to keep going. See this is when the paper comes in handy. You can so you can see which colors are gonna fit with what colors before you actually put them on. That's kind of bright. I think I want to use that one. Let's use one that's a little bit more muted. That's kind of, I haven't used anything orangey on here. You know what? I might use this on one of the pots. Let's 
put you down. And I like that. Let's find another color for our pots. I like these two. I'm really, really, really enjoying the Prisma colors. I'm so glad I got the set. of a shadow. Let's see how that's going to come out. You can tell when I'm concentrating because I'm not talking when I'm concentrating. Hey Trish, how are you doing today? I'm not as chatty as I normally am. I mean, there's nothing wrong with me, but I don't know. I think I just got thrown off my game. So when I had to redo that, um, redo the feed over again, it kind of threw me off. It threw off my groove. And before I came on, well, we just got back from the movies a little while ago. And hold on. And I came home and I grabbed me something to eat real quick. I had me some vegan hot dogs. Yep, they have vegan hot dogs. And ooh, I don't like the way this is coming out. Um, is this pencil? Yeah, that's prison. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, so I had me a vegan hot dog and then I was watching the Orville on Hulu, it's like Star Trek. If you like Star Trek, then you would like the Orville. So you say you super tired just from the laundry and I have, oh, you got your coloring book out too, right on. That's what I should have did. I should have started the laundry before, before I started, so at least some clothes will be washed and all I have to do is put them in the dryer. That's a good idea. That's a missed opportunity. I usually have all kinds of stuff going on. Me and my multitasking. I always say I'm the queen of multitasking. Kind of ridiculous. I'm a ridiculous multitasker sometimes. Let's see. I almost forgot what I was using. Yep, I'm a ridiculous multitasker. But that's okay. I've heard that they say that people that multitask don't get anything done. But I don't think that's true personally. I think I get a lot done when I multitask. Some things you can't multitask on though. It just doesn't work out. But for me, I'm pretty good at multitasking. Things come out okay. <sighs> Gotta do a little blending here. My shadows are out of control. I love watching other color with me's though. I get like some good ideas on the coloring, the color blending and things like that just by watching other people do it too. Yeah, Vanessa says she gets a lot more done, too, when she's multitasking. I almost feel like if I'm not multitasking, then uh, when I'm not multitasking, that I'm I um, not being productive. So I try to do as much as I can at one time, if I can, especially when I'm doing things on the computer. I'm really multitasking then. I usually have quite a few windows open. I am so bad when it comes to multitasking when I'm watching stuff too. 
I watch, um, like I'm watching, I'll watch a TV program on the TV and then I'll be watching videos <laughs> on YouTube, on my, on my laptop <sighs> and I might be coloring or, re or reading a book. It's, it's just crazy. That's a crazy kind of multitasking type of thing for sure. Now, in that case, I must admit it's probably not the best, best thing to do <laughs> when it comes to multitasking. You might not want to do it that way. It might not work out for you. So let's see here. How do I want to do my leaves this time? First, we need, we need to, sh I like my pencils sharp when I'm doing this. What you talking about, Vanessa? You said that's the only, that's, let me see, you have to do it. That's the only way that you can do it. Is it just multitasking in general that you're talking about? Let's see. There's so many ways you can do a leaf. I'm trying to do them different ways on here so that they're not all the same. That's it, I love coloring. Coloring is a great creative outlet for me. Let's see, which color is this one? Chartreuse. There's another color I was looking for. It's called Lime Peel. What color is this one? Spring Green. Let's look at the Spring Green. So Vanessa said, right now she's uploading videos, watching Miss Liz and organizing her planner stickers. So that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Rachel. Thanks for joining. How you doing today? What are you working on? I won't say it's been kind of like a slow day for me, but um, I took my time getting up this morning. I didn't have any coffee this morning because I had to run to my computer and I got the live chat set up for today and I had to check some statistics and what else does I did a few things. Oh, I answered comments because I had a bunch of comments on the channel that I hadn't answered yet. I tried for it not to be too long um, in between answering comments. For a while, when I wasn't getting that many comments, I would just, as soon as I saw them pop up, then I would answer the comments. But now I'm getting quite a few comments, so, which is fantastic because if you all go to anybody's YouTube channel and you love their videos, please leave comments for them, not just for me, because YouTube really values comments because they won't even like share people's videos out if they don't have, um, if they don't get comments and comments show engagement on the channel. So you can help out your favorite YouTuber by leaving comments on the videos that they have. So Rachel says she's working on new inserts um, now about and now she's about to clean the bathroom. Oh, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> Cleaning the bathroom is fun. Y'all know what? Whenever I clean the bathroom, I feel like I need a shower after I get done. The bathroom, I don't know why. And it's, I might not even touch anything. I usually put on gloves and everything. I usually look like a surgeon when I, when I get done, when I'm going to clean the bathroom. <laughs> she... Even when I'm just cleaning the bathroom, now I'm the only one that uses it. I'm just like, I don't want to do it. She just doesn't want to do it. I'm trying to do this leaf a little bit different too. But the bathroom has to get cleaned eventually. I think I'm going to have to focus on some cleaning for this week. Things are getting a little out of hand in this house. So definitely, even though I have a cleaning schedule, I don't always get to it, unfortunately. Let's 
Dang, Vanessa, you've been like a busy bean. Vanessa says that she answered comments for her channel, scheduled some posts, cleaned her house, recorded some videos today. I didn't schedule any posts today. I just answered some comments. Oh, yes, I did. I scheduled this live chat for today. And, and so, and actually, Vanessa has a live chat. I think it's tomorrow, right, Vanessa? Your live chat is tomorrow. And she has hers in the evening time, Eastern time as well. And what are you going to be doing on your on your live chat, Vanessa? I would love to know. <laughs> Rachel, you said you go take a shower or two after the bathroom. <laughs> yep, me too. I don't know what, I think it's just the thought. Just the thought. It's like, oh, got to go take a shower. Because nobody wants to clean the bathroom. But it's got to get done. Somebody's got to do it. Let's try this one on here. This is not really finished. I didn't do good with my shading on for today. That's okay. I'll probably do some coloring even after I get off, get off of here as well. So tomorrow on Vanessa's live stream, and you all should go over to her channel and check it out. She is going to be doing a memory box. She does like, she's so crafty and does like an excellent job with her crafts and what she, she, she does her live streams in an interactive way. So um, she asked her audience like what the, what colors to do things and what materials to use for um, for what she's doing. So she'll be doing the memory box. So she'll be asking people to participate and help her to make decisions on what to use for the memory box. Am I correct, Miss uh, Vanessa? So I think that's pretty cool. I haven't seen anybody else do that before. So not to say that they haven't, I just haven't seen it. So I, I think that is pretty awesome. They have to check out Vanessa's stream. I love live streams. When I see live streams pop up, I'm like all in. I usually go right to them and see. Let's see, I don't know where I'm at on time today. I'm just, ugh. Just terrible, terrible shape here. You know how some days you feel like you're on and some days you feel like you're off? This feels like an off day for me today. <laughs> but I'm still good to go. And you know, also when I'm doing like these color um, color with me's on here, I I never really realized like how long it took me to like color color the pages. But yeah, it takes a while. Oh, I lost my page where my live stream is at. Oh, Lord, it's just one of them days. Gotta get back to the right spot. So Trish says she's all about crafting these days now that grad school is done. Um, did you graduate yet or it's just like just done for now and then you have to go back? That's awesome. I did do some schooling, but I never finished. I never finished my schooling. Mostly because I was lazy. I guess I just wasn't a school a school person. Lots of people are school people. They can they can get with it when it comes to school. I I never been a school person, so and I got a lot of I have a lot of classes under my belt, but I don't have any degrees. Always close but no cigar. So I'm always, always nice to see people who have 
really done the thing when it comes to actually getting their degrees. That's awesome. All right, let's see what color. I think this one I'm gonna use like a reddish color maybe. She used these two. Yeah, it takes a long time to color. But I enjoy it though. If people leave me alone and let me color, that'd be nice. I can't say that. My family, they're really good. They usually leave me alone. When they see me doing like projects and stuff like that, they just ignore me basically. <laughs> they just ignore me. So I can't say that they ever bother me. I got to find my putty. I know I have it in here. When I get off of here, I'm gonna do my um I'm gonna do the review of this pencil case I have so I can get my pencils in order because I think it's just gonna make it easier for me to pick the colors and it might make the process a bit faster. Which I mean I'm not in any rush or anything, but might make it a bit faster when it comes to this. So you say you have to go back to school. That's awesome. Girl, go get your degree. People make more money with degrees for sure. It's harder for us people that are not school people to make it out there in the world. Uh-oh. I think you have to be a school people and I know people will say no you don't but it's easier to finish when you um you really enjoy doing it I never in school was never like I, I made good grades not excellent grades but I was always kind of I'm always like a, I'm an experienced kind of person I'm like a a hands-on kind of person So, not really a book person. I don't even like to spend the time to read the books. I like listening to them on audio tapes because it's easy. The easy way. I'm taking the easy route. For sure. What coloring book are you using, Trish? I'm thinking about getting um, at least one more coloring book. I have a little gnat in here. I don't know where it came from. He's bugging me. Maybe he's trying to tell me I need to clean my house. And of course, I have all the lights going over here. So it's like, yay, I'm going to let's go play in the lights in Lizzie's face. That's what that's what Mr. Nat is doing right now. <laughs> He's messing with me. Let's see. Bronze. Did I use bronze already? I don't know. Oh well, let's use bronze on this pot. I'm really loving this page. You only have to put like a few colors on here. You can really see things change the whole page just takes on it just changes when you start putting the colors on and I love these Prisma crayons because they have such a nice pigment to them And you almost get like lots of different shades depending on how um, how hard you press down. It's hard to see on the camera, but I give you guys a close-up shot. 
once we get finished for our session for today. I hope I motivated y'all. Should go get you, get you some crayons too. Oh, not crayons, but pencils. I have some actual um, Crayolas as well, and I'm thinking about using the Crayolas and see how they come out. I, I suspect since I've been using the really nice Prisma colors that the experience is not going to be. Uh, as great as it is with these Prisma colors. I don't even know why I decided to buy the Prismas. Must have been a video I was watching because you know. Those will usually get you going. Let's see. Creative Heaven's Dream Doodles. So it has the big designs. I like the big designs too. So um, Trish says she's using Creative Heaven's Dream. I'm gonna, let me write that down. I'm gonna go look. She's gonna go look, folks. But unfortunately, the chat doesn't stay up, so I won't be able to. Heaven. I won't be able to go back if I don't write it down. Anybody else want to suggest a coloring book? Because I'm looking for another coloring book. Even though I have tons of pages left in here. You think Crayola and, and um, Prismas are the same, Vanessa? I only use my Crayolas just a little bit. But I felt like I had to like really press down like super duper hard. Um, to get the pigment, the pigmentation that I get with just a light touch on with the Prisma. So I think for me, that's where the di the difference is. And it also, um, I could also tell when it comes to like blending. If you're not blending the colors, you might not be able to tell as much. But I can tell just with the blending as well that is def it feels definitely different to me. It feels like the the Prismas are better. But I'm not putting down the Crayolas. I don't know how many Crayolas I have. I would like to get a bigger pack of Crayolas. Because I like having a variety. A, vari a variety of um, the colors to choose from. And I can actually see myself like using most of them too. Using most of the colors. Do any of you have any different, any different um, types of crayons besides the Prismas and the Crayolas? I've seen some other ones out there, but these are the only two that I've, I've had some Sargent Art, and I mean they're okay. I'm gonna have to do like a little bit of a comparison just for myself too. This particular crayon didn't didn't do what I wanted to do, but it's all right. I live. So you say you use the Sharpie fine tip markers and pens, and you rarely use pencils, but have lots, and you love the richness of the markers. And when they bleed through a little, the design on the back side is awesome sometimes. That's cool. I have some fine tip markers, and I don't use them that much either. Um. I also have the, uh, oh, I know which ones you're talking about. I got those. I got the 50 pack of the fine tip markers and they do bleed. That's the reason why I haven't used those because those bleed like seriously through the paper. That's the only reason why I haven't used those. Um, I, I want to say I have the Artist Loft ones also, but I don't think so. I know I have the Sergeant Art ones. And I haven't really used those just yet. So I don't know how those are. Let's see what color is this. I haven't used this color. I can tell I haven't used it because it, it hasn't been sharpened. It still has the manufacturer sharpened, sharpened. 
sharpened edge on it, which I don't, you know, I like to have a nice sharp edge. Let's see how that's gonna work out. It's raining here right now. And you know, that would be okay if I didn't have a leak in my roof. <laughs> I'm waiting to get my, my, my roof fixed, which it was leaking before the hurricane. And then once the hurricane came, that just made situations just a little bit worse. I actually like rainy days. You like the artist loft also? Someone told me that they didn't like artist loft. It might have been the paints, paint brushes. Yep, I'm gonna have to do like a comparison, at least with the ones that I have, because I have, uh, I think I have enough of a variety to do a little bit of a comparison and probably enough experience using it where um, it would be a valuable comparison as well. So I know what I'm looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, you shouldn't offer advice. But I think I do. Ooh, what time is it? I didn't even haven't even been looking at the time. I don't even know how long I've been on for. I think the stream. We're close to an hour, so I'm probably gonna be shutting her down very shortly. Cause I always like to be mindful of everybody's time. Up, oh, I found the putty. After all that, I've been looking for the putty, and I finally found it. But I like to be mindful of everybody's time to include mine, so I don't like to stay on for too long. I just think like about an hour is like the perfect amount of time to just chill and just clear your mind. Ooh, now that came out very nicely. Too bad I couldn't find the putty earlier. Mix some of the, ooh, I'm just messing up now. She's just messing some stuff up now. with this putty. You guys can't see it, thank goodness. <laughs> see, that's the good thing about coloring in your book. People can't really see what you mess up. As long as you don't say anything, everything looks great. <laughs> I actually recorded the other page that I was doing. I started recording it and I'll, I'll probably put it up on the channel, but I don't know how people on the channel are gonna like it. Something that um, I was watching another channel and this lady was saying that she was having a problem with her pencils breaking and she said that um, when she looked like at the dot on here, let me show you where my dot, dot is because I'm going to compare it. You see, it's, I don't have the auto autofocus on, but you can see that the pigment color is not in the middle. So she was saying that when it's like that, that these are more prone to um, breaking. So here's one that's in the middle, so you can see. And so I'm gonna see if that's true because I just sharpened this and it looked like it might it might break. So I think she's saying if they're not right right in the middle, then they might break. So that might be a tip right there. So we're gonna see if that is true of these colors. Oh, I should have, probably should have used a lighter color on this one, but that's okay. She still likes it. Then we're gonna use. I always end up with a lot of, a lot of pencils out on the table when I get done. That's like my crafting life right there. I start out. I start out putting stuff away and then phew, it's like my it's like my area throws up crafting stuff and it stays out. Might do just a little bit more before I shut her down here. Let's see. Oh, you know some colors I haven't used on here? I haven't used any blues. 
let's get the blues out. I think I'm gonna use like this one, Aqua Marina. When I was little, there was like certain words I liked to say and spell. I liked Aqua Marina. I used to like when, like spelling, I used to like language, the word language. I don't know why. I had a hard time spelling that word at first, but once I learned how to, I just smelt, I felt smart because I could spell language. I know that's kind of crazy. Your room is like that too, Vanessa. So you get me. See, that's why I'm on here because you all, you get me. You get me. I don't know how I want to do this one. I'm just going to go for what we know on these flowers. I've been dying to get back to this page too. But I didn't want to do it without you all because I had already started with you all. So I wanted you all to see how they progress, how everything progressed on here. Uh -oh. It's not really, it didn't really break, just the, the tip was pretty fine. See, one reason I like to leave the pencils out is because sometimes I miss some spots, which I miss some spots with this color right here. And I would have forgot which color it was. I need to start writing writing down the colors that I'm using. I think I'm gonna bring this color down some more too. I try to finish up with the actual colors that I'm using while I'm on, because I don't want to have to go back and try to find them again. I think my office could stand and be cleaned again too. This place stays out of control. The next movie I would like to go see is Flatliners. Um, they're doing lots of new uh, movies. Well, there are spin not spinoffs, but remakes. They're doing lots of remakes, and um, Flatliners is one of their is one of the remakes that's coming out. Was well, already out, and they're doing Death Wish. That was with originally with Charles Bronson, I believe, and it's gonna have Bruce Willis in it. So that's gonna be cool. I'm excited about the new movies coming out too. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there, even though I really, 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 really want to keep going. She's not. Let me just do one more little thing that I would like needs a fit so when I put this away I don't have to worry about that color so I'll show you where I'm at so far on here look at the flowers I mostly just worked down here at the bottom today so I did the uh, broom and the fork and I did the boots today and then I also did this fl whole flower pot this whole flower pot this whole flower pot and I think I just did the leaves that are on here in a piece of this pot because I hadn't finished that one. And see, just that right there, it took me, I won't say it took an hour because it kind of took me a little while to get going today. So it probably took me about 45 minutes just to do those little pieces. So definitely took a while, but man, I love the way this, this looks. How do you all think this looks? Yeah, this is pretty. This is a pretty page. I'm glad I picked this page. So... I guess I'll probably do a little bit more coloring, but I'll be doing it on a different page and whatnot. <laughs> so.
So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to shove off for today. I know today was kind of a boring talk for today, but I still wanted this gives me a chance because I might may not have sat down and relaxed for today. This gave me a chance to just just woosa for the day to get ready. Now I can, can get on the fast track again and start uh start multitasking. <laughs> like I usually do. So I want to thank you all for coming on today cuz I know like I said it was kind of kind of a boring talk today, but that's all right. I'm still glad to always be on with you all. And during the week I got lots of videos that will be coming up for this week as well, so be looking out for that. Um, also check out Patreon. There'll be some things on Patreon that you can access. You don't have to be a member if you don't want to, but while you're over there, you can check things out. You just go to patreon.com and then go to Liz for a day and you can check out, um, what's going on over there and, and get with me on the coffee chats as well. Cause I'm talking about some good stuff on the coffee chats. So I'm, I'm going to leave the chat open for a bit if you still want to chat. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out for today. So love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.